There's a marker dead ahead. Neutral, Pat. Neutral. That's good. We're in. Okay, engine's off. Power fleet's on. Power and fleet are on. Breathe your eggs. 28 and a half. <laughs> Main's working. Uh, okay, air's on. Have a good dive, Mike. Diving has been one of my passions for many, many years. Uh, it harkens back to watching Lloyd Bridges and Sea Hunt when I was a kid. It puts me in the water on any day of the week during the uh, three or four months of a dive season. I'm Mike Hill. I'm uh, a member of Preserve Our Rex, and I'm a local diver. I've been diving in Kingston's waters for about 10 years. I take quite a lot of underwater video footage in the interest of inspiring other people to understand the rich legacy of shipwrecks in our waters. Kingston has been noted as one of the uh, best freshwater wreck capitals in the world. Kingston was a major maritime port throughout the 19th and early 20th century. The water system here was, was a 401. Merchant vessels plied these waters for the last 150, 200 years, and uh, there's probably 400 wrecks that have gone down in the east end of Lake Ontario. Uh, we're at the windward side of the lake where a lot of tragic things did happen. Some of them went down with mishap, loss of life, so we, we get to drop on these grave sites. Lake Ontario, being a deep, cold, freshwater lake, has considerably contributed to the preservation of many of these vessels. In the absence of salt water, the ironwork is very largely preserved, and the freshwater lakes have very few organisms, natural marine organisms, that attack wood. So when a ship goes down, it's largely preserved as it was at the time of the sinking. You have to be a certified diver. I try to tailor the diving some people are only comfortable to a depth of 60 feet. Other people are comfortable to a depth of 120 feet and, and everything in between. You don't want to put people uh, in a situation where they're going to be uncomfortable. You certainly need a really good, well-fitting wetsuit or dry suit, gloves, hood. The big thing is the exposure gear you have to wear so that you're comfortable while you're diving. Kingston's waters contain a variety of shipwrecks that span the ages, from early sailing vessels, to paddle steamers, to the propeller-driven ships of the modern era. And you can access the wrecks from shore or by boat. We see examples of the side-wheeled steam engine paddle steamers from the late 19th and 20th century, running mail runs from York or Toronto and Niagara down the lake and then the St. Lawrence River. We have two paddle wheelers, the Comet, uh, which went down in 1861 with a loss of life. And we also have the Cornwall, which is a slightly smaller paddle wheel that actually carried uh, English royalty from Montreal to Kingston in, uh, in the 1860s. This is very typical of the sort of wrecks we see on the bottom of the lake. It's a three-masted schooner. In the early uh, mid-19th centuries, as many as 1,700 of these schooners sailed Lake Ontario. Wow. A very common sight, so numerous on occasions in the 19th century that in the area where Kingston Marina now sits, you could almost walk from one side of the river to the other on the harboured vessels. Very many of them perished in, as, as a result of storms or, or other mishap. When we see them on the bottom, very often the masts have snapped and they're lying along the deck. But much of the running rigging is apparent, the bowsprit's in place, and the hull is, is generally well preserved and, and the vessel sitting upright. My favorite if you want to do penetration type diving is a Wolf Island, which was a, a car ferry that uh, was sunk as a, as a purpose-built dive site uh, 30 years ago. It gives divers the opportunity to dive on a wreck which is largely complete. Although her engines were removed, everything else, her propellers, her anchors, her rudder, um, all the superstructure is intact. They also have the opportunity, if they're appropriately trained, 
to penetrate the wreck, that is to go into spaces where there's no immediate overhead access to the surface. You can swim through various rooms and corridors in the superstructure, and it, it varies in depth from 40 feet to 80 feet, so you pick your comfort level, so it offers a lot to a lot of different kinds of divers. Preserve Our Wrecks Kingston was formed to protect and preserve the maritime heritage of the city. We aim to promote education and awareness of the, the, the shipwreck legacy that lies off the, the city's shores. We try to educate people that it's important to look after the wrecks, to be cautious in their approach to them, the importance of avoiding accidental damage, fin kicks, holding objects that are perhaps uh, increasingly fragile. These are not collectible items they're items that contribute to the archaeological understanding of the wreck. Now, if, if people remove them, they deny future generations the opportunity to understand and appreciate the wrecks. Preserve our wrecks Kingston places moorings alongside the most popular wrecks, some 20 or more, every season to avoid people having to spend a lot of time looking for them and also dropping anchors once they've found the wreck. When I look at even the broken down components of a shipwreck, I can imagine and I can visualize the ship as it, as it existed in its working form. And, and that makes it fascinating. You literally are in another world as soon as you submerge below the surface. And I know it sounds ridiculous, but you have the sensation of flying, total weightlessness in a complete environment you don't see around here. So it's, it's like stepping off the planet and you're still in Kingston. That's, that's the beauty of diving.